Hey guys, here we have the HSD F86 120mm EDF. We are switching it up from the Lady Luck stock paint scheme over to the U.S. Air Force Sky Blazer scheme. It's a popular red, white, and blue scheme. We hope you love it. We'll mask off these warning stripes on the fuselage and wing as it beats repainting them later. First, we shoot our gloss black primer. We can paint right over the water slide decals after we paint the primer and then our base coat aluminum, you won't be able to see any of the outline from the original decals. Same process for the wings. For our base coat, we use Rust-Oleum Aluminum. You can almost paint the entire airplane with one can. It goes on really, really well on top of the gloss black. You really only need to apply one coat. Since we painted over the gun ports, we're going to be redoing them by masking them off with yellow frog tape and then airbrushing a metallic gun metal to complete the look. When I airbrush, I like to let the paint dry for about 30 minutes before removing the masking tape.
This paint scheme only has three other colors to it, red, white, and blue. We start by masking off the wings. The middle section will be blue, followed by a small two-inch stripe that is white, followed by the edges of the wings that are red. I cover the six millimeter Jing Bling masking tape with larger pieces of yellow frog tape. I found that the narrow six millimeter Jing Bling masking tape has better ability to prevent bleeding under the tape than the yellow frog tape. For the best results when spray painting rattle cans on masked off areas like this, just shoot one pass at a time. Don't ever just press the button down. It'll go on way too thick and you're likely to get paint that bleeds under the masking tape. Little unforced error here. I definitely did the top of the wings much harder because my reference photo showed that the stripe in the middle of the blue and the red was silver, and in fact, it's white. I should have just painted everything to the side of the blue white and then masked off the white before painting the red, which is exactly what I did for the bottom of the wings. The elevator assembly here has three colors, blue, red, and white. So first we spray the gloss white on the inside of the elevator halves. Again, using the narrow trim tape underneath the large yellow frog tape ensures crisp lines.
Both sides of the canopy on the F-86 Skyblazers have this red name placard for the pilot. You could probably get away with using a graphic here, but we decided just to mask it off and paint it since we already had all the paint ready to go. Now that the elevator assembly has been masked off for the last color, we're ready to shoot the sunrise red. Because the housing for the elevator assembly is slightly higher than the bottom of the rudder, we have to mask it off and shoot some gloss white. Then it's on to applying the decals. To add a scale touch to the rear of the fuselage, we're going to be adding some of this duck mirror tape as well as airbrushing that same gunmetal gray color that we used for the gun ports on the rear of the fuselage. I had to use three pieces of tape to get it all the way around the bottom of the fuselage. Our next video on this one, we're going to add some rivets and do some weathering. Also stay tuned for the maiden flight. Thank you for watching and we hope this video helped you. Please feel free to check out our other painting tutorial videos and flight videos.